Hmm. Welcome back riders. Today's video, we're gonna be swapping out the seat on the XSR. While a factory seat is okay for a stock bike, it's just not giving me the comfort and the ride positioning I'm looking for. The stock seat's also a two-up seat. And since I removed my rear foot pegs, I'm not gonna be taking a passenger anytime soon. So we're gonna be replacing the factory seat with this new Corbin Gunfighter Solo seat. So right out of the box, this seat looks and feels a hell of a lot better than the stock seat. The stitching on this thing is just awesome. I really like the rounded back, got rid of that pillion passenger area. And with the overall shape, you're kind of sitting more in the bike instead of on the bike. So this is gonna be a really simple install because all you need is your bike key to take the seat off. So let's get to it. And that's pretty much it. So looking at these things side by side, you can really see the difference. The stock seat's got nothing here. It's just a flat piece of vinyl. Whereas the Corbin's got this nice stitching in it and some ribbing. Plus if you push down on the uh, padding, this thing is rock hard compared to the Corbin. From an underside perspective, these things are pretty different. The seat pan for the stock seat definitely has a lot more stuff going on. The stock seat's got the little strap for the toolkit. The Corbin of course doesn't but I went ahead and stuck a piece of Velcro on here so I could attach it later. So the only thing left to do is put it on. Done. So as we walk around the bike, you can definitely see that the profile on this thing is amazing. It's a lot more sportier than the stock seat. And you know, I really feel like I'm gonna be sitting in this bike rather than sitting on this bike. So now that we got all that out of the way, there's only one thing left to do. Let's take her for a ride. The ride that we've got planned today should put the Corbin seat to the test. At just around four hours on 140 miles, we'll be hitting some urban city roads, open highways, twisty canyons, and some bumpy old Arizona mountain roads. I'm mostly going to be concentrating on ride comfort and seat maneuverability for this test, but we'll see what other things we discover about this saddle along the way. So, so far this thing feels really good. You know, just like my Harley seat, it is, I don't know what foam Corbin puts in these things, but man, it's so damn comfortable on the butt cheeks. I like the high back on this thing. Really makes you feel like you're sitting in the bike instead of sitting on the bike. The flat seat really gave that feeling like you were just helplessly atop the motorcycle. All right, so we just did about 45 miles on this thing and oh man, I gotta say my butt feels great. This is so nice and cushy. Oh, this is a hell of a lot better than the flat stock seat, uh, flat stock seat and in comparison is like sitting on a freaking piece of plywood. We're gonna head up into those hills up there. I'm here with my buddy Nikola, that red Yoda. Check his channel out if you're into like uh, pre-runner race trucks and stuff like that. He does some really cool shit. Anyway, back up into the hills. Let's do a little bit more riding and see how it fares. All right, I love this ride so much. So the route that I've been riding for the past like 40 minutes has a lot of bumps on it. It's, you know, it's an old Arizona highway. There's some potholes and stuff like that. And this seat really absorbs a lot of that stuff. Like I said before, I feel like I'm sitting in the bike now instead of on the bike. That's a really secure feeling, you know? Having almost that little mini backrest just above your tailbone locking you into the seat. Confidence factor in this seat is definitely uh, pretty high. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh yeah, I love this tunnel. How was that piss? So these superstition mountain curves on this seat, man, just great. Can definitely get a butt cheek off on the uh, tighter turns if need be. Oh, this road is hell of fun to ride. Woohoo! Something else that I'm noticing riding around, especially now that I'm going slow behind this freaking 18 wheeler. One big complaint I hear about the flat seats is that your nutsack totally hurts after about an hour or so of riding. Not that it hurts, but it's like, you feel like the bottom of your balls starts to numb up after a while. I 
haven't really felt that on this seat. I think a lot of it has to do with the memory foam or whatever foam Corbin has decided to put into these things. So this is nothing new to me. I noticed when I got the Corbin seat on the Harley, I had the same instant response. Cool, no more numb crotch. You know, it's just nice to now not get numb crotch on the XSR anymore either. Oh yeah, good bumpy bridge. So this Corbin Gunfighter seat, let's talk a little bit about the seat itself. I think it looks fantastic. I would say 90% of the fitment of the seat is great. If you're gonna be spending over $500 on a seat, the fitment needs to be pretty spot on. So I think Corbin, uh, whatever you guys are doing, maybe the, the, the seat pan mold that you're using, I think it probably needs to be leaned a little bit more forward. But other than that, I've got a Corbin on my Harley. I love it. It's a two up seat. My wife loves it. It's got a nice backrest on it. The comfort level definitely is there and, and the finish is there. Would I spend $500? I think if Corbin can fix the gap in the front, then I would definitely pay five to $600 for this seat or I think that's what it's priced, don't quote me. I'll put links in the description below where you can find this seat on Corbin's website. The one thing also I love about Corbin is they have a seat design tool. If you watch my Harley video, I give you kind of a little demonstration on how that thing works. It's pretty cool because you can literally design every aspect of the finish on the seat. The color, the welting, the stitching, everything. Even the Corbin logo, you can choose what color you want. And it's a really easy tool to use. So check out my Corbin Harley video if you want to see what the order process is for getting a Corbin seat. So we're back at the house. Four hour ride, 130 miles. My ass feels great. This seat is super comfortable. The quality of the leather, the stitching, everything on this seat is really great. The little half inch gap up in the front between the tank and the seat, it could be an annoyance to some people, which it is. So message to you, Corbin. First off, I love your products. You make great stuff. But I think you should maybe rethink the seat mold because honestly, that seat pan, if it was just leaning a half an inch forward a little bit, it would be spot on. Those little details, really make it worth it. So that's about all I got for today. Wanna say thanks to everybody for subscribing. We surpassed the thousand subscriber mark. Really appreciate your support. Hope you enjoyed this video. I got another one coming up next week. You're gonna love. We're gonna make this baby a little bit faster. Thanks for watching. Be safe, ride safe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.